everyone, welcome back to the vlog. If you don't mind my <laughs> semi makeup and funny hair, I'm putting on my makeup. But I have to show you what I have to deal with. <laughs> it looks so weird. But what I have to deal with every single time that I want to put makeup on. This monster. What are you doing? Voodoo. What are you doing? Yeah? You must sit right in the way. Hi, I have all my makeup on now. I decided to go with a blue wing because why not, right? <laughs> Just Zeus being a silly guy. Anyway, welcome to today's vlog. I haven't really decided what I want this vlog to be. I do, however, know that I was inspired by a fellow YouTuber, Lizzie Gordon, for what I wanna make for dinner tonight. So I want to make some stuffed peppers. I, I'm not gonna follow a recipe. I'm just gonna wing it. And we have this street corn from Costco that's so good. So I'm gonna add that to it. That was Joe's idea. Instead of like a rice with it. So I guess at least the beginning of this vlog is just gonna be like a cook with me, cook dinner with me. Also a separate thing. So a point in this vlog probably later, I'm gonna be making a DIY compost bin. I really want to start a garden and have like self-sufficiency in a way. I really love plants, so I'm hoping that I don't just kill all of them immediately, that they actually have some life to it. For now, I have started like a little bag of compost. Oh, don't mind my wildness, but it looks disgusting. Anyway, there's my beginning of my compost bag. I'm going to try to compost as much as we possibly can so that we are helping the environment just like a little that we can. And then this would be great also for the future garden that we're going to build together on the side of our house. Hence why I'll be making our own compost bin. And I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I had all of these ideas that I was gonna get a bunch of stuff done today. And you know, I just didn't. The day got away from me and <laughs> it is what it is. So before I start dinner, I want to show you guys my little peppers that I have growing already and then my other, I have a few other trees that I've started growing. Oh, like a snail. I have some peppers started here. So I have, oh, I lost my stick if that tells me what it is, but I believe this one's a hatch chili. I think it's mild. Then I have some, I can't remember the name of these peppers, but they have yet to grow. So that might be another retry later on. I have medium, uh, medium heat for hatch chili jalapeno seeds that also didn't want to grow yet. And then I have, oh, these are my mild. So these ones I think are going to be my green peppers that I can't remember the name. And then my other hatch chili I have started right here. I just took it in my aloe cause I just have this little guy and it drains just into the aloe. This one is going to be a hot hatch chili. And I have so many variety of hatch chili because if you've ever been to Colorado, you've had green chili and like it's, the absolute best chili in the entire world and I miss it so much so I figured grow my own chilies make our own green chili and I'll just smother everything with it and it would be amazing here I have little lemon trees growing I'm not too sure if this one is a weed or if it's one of my lemons it looks like similar to the baby leaves at the bottom but it kind of just looks like a weed over here is where we're going to be putting our garden just on the side of the house the last what I have planted so far this little papaya tree. Very excited, like I said, to have our own garden with everything and to spend less money at the grocery stores. Yeah, so that's where our little garden will be and I will definitely be taking the vlog channel along that journey. Once we start getting everything going and are doing all of our DIYs. Anyway, let's start dinner. So now it's time to start cooking and I have three bell peppers. I'm going to saute some onion and a garlic clove. Then I'm gonna cook the meat and season it as such. And I'm also going to be doing that corn, like I said. So I'm gonna cook that as well. Put them all together in a bowl, make a little mix, and I'll be stuffing them. So I'm going to be dicing, I think. Now I'll do my garlic. So I have this very giant cutting board. It's great, but it, it just seems like a little extra at this moment. Let these saute basically becoming translucent in color. And I really have to work off mainly just this burner because we need a new 
stove slash oven situation. Our other burner kind of just like went out where it just gets hot and that's about it. Like max heat at all times is so very extra. She does what she wants and she wants to just be mad hot all the time. If you don't want like boiling water, we do it on this side. But we've moved over to the left side because she cooperates, whereas the right is just rude. All right, so my onions are done. Onions and garlic. And the air's on, so if you're hearing a lot of like wind, there's literally nothing I can do about it, so sorry about it. But my pan is now hot, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add my meat. Now I'm gonna add some seasoning. So I know I did garlic and onion already, but I'm gonna add some garlic powder, some onion powder, some cayenne, chili powder, and then of course, salt and pepper. I'm just kind of winging it, which is, I feel like Joe and I do a lot with cooking. Just putting together things that I think are gonna taste good and typically taste good together anyway. So this is the Mexican street corn and it's from Costco. Comes with some cheese. And then individual bags, you get like at least I'd say probably like five bags per bag, four to five bags. And um, this street corn, if you can find it at Costco because they sell out of it super quick. If you ever see it, get it and try it and leave a comment and let me know what you think because I'm telling you this stuff is, it's the bee's knees to say the least. It's also insanely easy to cook. You just do like a little bit of oil and then you just throw it in and mix it around until the little frozen sauce things kind of just like all melt together. So this is what the corn looks like. These are like the little frozen sauces. You just mix this around until all of those are melted and you just have sweet corn. So while the corn cooks, and it cooks pretty quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the tops off, scoop out all the inside, put it in my compost bag, and then I'll show you these when they're chopped. Voila, they have been scooped out. Use my mixture. Because I'm the chef, I get to do a little taste test. That yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more salt. I feel like being in the peppers, they're gonna need a little more salt because the peppers don't have any. For this recipe, if anyone's interested, I'll put what I did down in the description below. But I don't measure anything. I kinda just eyeball it. And I say trust yourself. Here are the peppers ready to go in the oven. And here are the finished peppers. So it obviously started to burn a little bit on the cheese on the top. But I think it'll be fine. I think that's actually gonna add flavor. And now, Joe's home! Hello everybody! How excited are you for these peppers? Stoked! So, Absolutely stoked! So I we're... tasted some of the filling and it's fucking delicious. <laughs> so we're gonna eat our peppers and watch Married at First Sight and then watch F Boy Island. So see you tomorrow. Welcome to today. As I said, I will be doing my compost bin. Basically, I just have this really old plastic tub and it's kind of broken, which is fine, but it has a top, which I learned you really need. So I have to start by putting some holes in the top and bottom, about 20 and well, the top and then 20 on the bottom. And I guess you could do some around the sides because you need airflow for a good compost. So far, that's my top. You can see better the holes. And then I show against the light, so now I gotta go ahead and do the bottom. Okay, so that is done now. Basically everything I learned for this, I learned on TikTok and YouTube, because that's where, let's be honest, we all learn everything. So, we have the bin. I've got my green compost. And my browns, first I'm gonna start, I'm gonna rip up some cardboard and just cover the bottom. That's a good base. Okay, so I think like that's probably good enough, at least like covering for the base. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some sticks. It's great too, because we have a tree in the backyard that just loves to drop sticks all the time and leaves all the time. So we have plenty of brown to add to this compost. 
now I'm gonna add a layer of dirt. Now I can go ahead and add my green compost, basically just my food scraps. And I'm gonna take one of these sticks actually, and just kind of break it all up. And then now it's said to just put these leaves over, basically enough to cover. And then I'm gonna do another thin layer of dirt, and then we'll take it over to where it's gonna be in a very sunny spot and get some water in it. So for right now, this is gonna be the best spot for it. Here it is, it's glory. And since it's not supposed to rain, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it nice and wet. And there you have it. That is our new compost bin. Go ahead and shut it. Keep the creatures, the critters out. And it's as simple as that, according to everything I've seen on YouTube and TikTok. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get it right because it is about a balance of having the right amount of greens to brown ratio, as in like food scraps to dried leaves and twigs and cardboard but it should help us reduce a little bit from our food waste and be able to give our future garden some nutrients and help all of our little fruits and vegetables grow to their full potential that's uh, where i'm gonna end the video today and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm gonna go make some dinner i'll see you guys later bye